What's up guys, it's Joel, GSG, Games is Gaming, coming to you with the video strategy guide on Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're doing the Path of the Deathless Collectibles. At the beginning of the area, you want to look to the left on that slope for a document on the ground. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much, but they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. Prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. <laughs> Even armed, I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself, but I live. Just a little past the camp, you will start shimmying across a very small ledge. When you get all the way across, you will see a passage in front of you. And if you walk up just a little bit, you will see a gap in the wall. Walk through that gap and you will find a document on the ground. I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. A divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. Next up is a challenge of the area, enemy of my enemy, and the goal is to light six signal brazers. Now signal brazers are best explained by the map. This is in the first courtyard where you fight that deathless. Look into the back up top and you'll find the brazer. After you pass the first gate and enter into the second area, turn around and look up and to the left of that gate. You will see another Greek fire barrel that you shoot and you will light another signal brazier. Travel up a couple flights of stairs and directly in front of you up top is going to be a signal brazier. The fourth signal brazier is right before the second gate. Look to the east side and you will see a rope arrow barricade. Get to the highest point so you get a good angle at this Greek fire barrel. You want to destroy the rope arrow barricade. Once you do, you'll see the Greek fire barrel and the brazier and light that puppy up. Right after you pass the second gate, you want to look right in front of you, slightly to the right, and you're going to see a document on the ground. General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Katesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the paths on the far side of the valley. 
But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. Right after that second gate, and right after the document that was on the ground, you go forward a little bit, and go up the hill to the right, and you will find a relic. This is, hmm, particularly odd. It has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, not possible. At the second gate again, you want to go to the left this time, and back in that cubby you see on the map, you want to head over there and you're going to find another document. We have sealed the doors and barred them from entry. The riders are coming, and I must keep these people safe. Mothers with children, old men like me. Those that cannot fight. I have food and water in sufficient quantities to keep us alive for the length of the attack. Should our Athanatoi fail, and the attack becomes a siege, we will die here. For that, I have enough Belladonna to provide the little ones with safe passage. Pray it never comes to that. The final two signal brazers are right in front of the second gate. You're going to walk forward. Turn around and look up to the right and to the left of you. The right one, you can see that Greek fire barrel. You want to shoot that. But on the left side, it is barricaded and blocked. So you're going to have to use a grenade arrow to blow up that barricade and light the signal brazier. And that's it for the Path of the Deathless Collectibles. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. And for more quality content, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.